What is going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, Bobby Fai here with my man, Evan Mayer, and we wanted to talk a little bit through uh, some of the things that Evan's created for the site. Evan's been a huge part of helping us build this site, and uh, he's built some really incredible tools that I feel like we haven't done a great job promoting and talking about that are free tools to use, and I think they're things that you guys will find a lot of use out of. So, uh, Evan, thanks a lot for being with us. Thank you for all the great work, and uh, I wanted to uh, to talk about the optimizer that you built. I wanted to talk about the search tool that you built and uh, any other things that you think would be valuable for people to know about the site and how to better use TrueDFS. Great, thanks, Bobby. It's been you know a terrific experience working with you and uh, and learning. I mean, for me, this is a learning process too, learning about um, the DFS process and uh, obviously there are different levels of sophistication and uh, as a beginner it's it's information overload a little bit to try to parse out what matters and what doesn't before you get into really the fine uh, details but as I've been doing uh, DFS uh, alongside helping uh, you and Eric I've learned a lot and uh, now I appreciate a lot of the a lot of the tools that are out there and the information. The key is and is boiling it down into a digestible format where it's something that you can take from and make use of uh, that doesn't require a tremendous amount of time. So that's what I've been trying to do on the site. So the first thing I guess, uh, which is pretty quick to, to show and I, and I hope people have seen it is we've been providing the historical ownership information for uh, most of the sports. Now that Major League Baseball is you know, a couple of weeks in, now we can at least start providing that as well. So you should see that very soon. And uh, what this does is it's a collation of, of the various um, sites such as DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo. And it is several of the contests, some of which are multi-entry, some of which are single entry or double up, and uh, allows you to look at what the ownership percentages were for particular players. I think the best way to, to search this is to have a particular player in mind and to simply type in that name so that, for instance, if you were interested in NBA and, and talking about Draymond Green, just to type in the word Draymond, and then it shows you and it, and it immediately shows you those um, ownership numbers across a variety of, uh, of entries. Now, obviously, you may be betting very differently than these are, but I think it, it gives you some insight. And, and certainly one of the things I learned was how, depending on the, the cost of the entry and so forth, or you know, certainly the high value tournaments, how it varies significantly, especially if you're looking for a big win in a big tournament. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's, and I think that's, that's really important information to have. It's, we do a lot in this business of, of projecting things, but taking historical data is, uh, and, and, and really seeing what people were actually owned in each, in each different category is really interesting. And you see the variance of where a guy like Draymond Green might be owned differently in the uh, in, in double ups and in, in, in the small single entries and some of the higher buy-ins. It's, it's really interesting to, to, to check out. So I would suggest you guys do take a look at it. What you'll notice when you go to the site, it tells you when it was last updated. And I update these every morning, obviously, because the contests are over. And you should see that across uh, most of the sports. Uh, again, MLB, I'll be adding in real soon. Uh, the second tool that I hope uh, more people will use because when I first look, started learning about DFS, obviously there everybody's everybody and their mother has a, a channel uh, talking about DFS. And listen, uh, we all like watching some other opinions of other people. It's you know Bobby and Eric have their opinion, and and it's worthwhile to want to know what does everyone else say. And the problem is you've got hours and hours of video to go through uh, for any given sport, let alone any given player. So what I worked on was a industry-wide search, and Bobby and, and Eric helped me kind of fine tune this, to uh, every day, twice a day, 
it will go out and using channels and playlists that you probably go to anyway, um, will bring together everything that was said about everything and clean it up for us so that we can make it searchable. And so one of the first things is, who is everyone talking about? And that would be a very tall task if you didn't have a tool like this. So if you click on show and hide popular keywords, and let's say we were talking about the finals, we would just select MBA. And what you can see is this sort of balloon representation of who is everyone talking about? And the larger the balloon, the more times that person is mentioned. So you can click on any one of these names and we'll copy it into your clipboard so that you can very quickly go down and then search for that particular person. And this is the real tool right here. This is what I'm hoping people are gonna enjoy is you can see the sentence fragment where that particular player is mentioned. And mm -hmm. what site, and first of all, what sport? So obviously sometimes sometimes some some players are play, are talked about on other sports, and that's okay. But you could also see what original site uh, or channel had the had the discussion. And these all these uh, all these transcripts are from the last few days. So you're not looking at old material from weeks ago, which wouldn't be important now. Mm -hmm. The best part is when you click on a link, because what it does is it takes you right to that moment in time in that particular video to be able to, yeah. and boom, there you go. So now you're listening real right to it. Uh, I hope this is helping you make better efficient use of your time because everyone's busy but to be able to then scroll through, read the little bit of things that are talked about and say, wow, this is, this is something I wanna hear, click on it. And again- Number one for the Raptors defensively is not to lose to Joel Embiid single-handedly. Yes. And there you go, and it takes you right there. So you could, in, in short time, especially if you're trying to decide between a couple of players, uh, Bobby, I, I assume that's, that's what you might do. Yep. And you would say, hey, there are a lot of smart people out there with lots of opinions. Let me see what they're saying. I'll tell you what, when I, when I started playing DFS, I would have lived on this tool. Um, I don't care whether you're a true DFS subscriber or what, anything. This is an incredibly valuable tool. And you could even, I mean, we've done this before, right? You, could, you can search even if you, if you wanted to see Osimo specifically, you could say Osimo and, and then Embiid, right? It'll pop up still, right? Uh, no, I, I don't we didn't do that because okay yeah yeah no we're not there yet okay that's fine i just wanted to yeah, clarify. i mean we could we could certainly make it if 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 there were only certain sites you wanted i think what we're trying to also show that there's a lot of opinions from a lot of different people and what we do is we do group those together so you can just ignore the other ones and there's not too many i mean yeah, you know yeah, popular you players major. are mentioned a lot and and that's understandable and this is obviously across lots of different sports some sites just talk about everyone at once. So there's kind of a mishmash in the miscellaneous category, but you can see that if you want to narrow it down on particular sports, obviously not much to say in NFL, we'll see in, in, the, in the end of the summer, um, that you can look at all of this, or you can just look at what's, what is on your mind right now, talking about NASCAR, et cetera. And I think that, uh, as I said, it's updated twice a day. So for those sites that are doing their morning videos for the for the early baseball lineups, you got it. For those that are waiting for the evening games and the playoffs in the NBA, you got it because it's it's fresh, it's it's relatively updated, and you're only looking at the last few days of conversation. That's absolutely awesome. And and you could just go in and type the any keyword of any player you're curious about just on its own. You don't even absolutely. Need to worry about absolutely. Like that. I, I I made the bubbles just so that you kind of know what people are talking about, but obviously those are just the the most frequent ones. But you can type in any player and any word. It may not find a match on that particular one for for the uh, you know. I, I'm always excited to see if people are still talking about Tom Brady. So I look I look for <laughs> Tom Brady talk. But yeah, that's just me.
<laughs> well, what if you looked up, just do me a favor, Evan, type, 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 type in Jaren, J-A-R-E-N Jackson. Jaren. This is, a, this is a perfect one for what I'm looking at today. And obviously people are gonna watch this video at different times. But if we have Jaron Jackson, so you don't have many people talking about uh, Jaron Jackson today, which is kind of interesting, um, just because that's it's it's one of those. Well, things. it hasn't refreshed yet. It's going to refresh oh. at four thirty today, so okay. we're catching it a little early. Yeah, yeah. So, so in general, yeah, when you do your search, yeah. It, so if you're doing it after four thirty Eastern time, you, you'll get all the, the 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 later shows on talking about that because that's a guy who I would want to know what other people are saying more than right. I'm interested in what projections are or what other, anybody's tagging on sites. I want to hear what they're saying about him because he's a sneaky play to me in tonight's NBA slate. And I want to see if he will instead, in fact, stay sneaky. And I want to see if what other guys who I have respect for are thinking about that individual player um, or individual game. for that matter, we could search by, by game too. It, it may be worthwhile for us to have multiple refresh times as it pertains to the lock Mm -hmm. sport and we we can customize that but um you know given the, the fact that obviously you know things change week to week in each sport that i i felt like this was a good time because usually you have your videos up around that time and then you can make uh your own research uh you could do your own research as you uh, approach lock yep yep absolutely that makes a lot of sense and uh I really hope you guys do it. If you have any more questions about it, you can always hit us up in the uh, support channel. You can always uh, hit me up and you can also ask us on our live shows every day at 6 Eastern. Yeah, we would love any suggestions of how to improve the yep. tool. Uh, are there particular um, YouTube channels or, or playlists that you think are, are invaluable and we should add them uh, to our, our list of, of sites? Yep. Um, the last last piece, and uh, I think is is, you know, obviously a big deal uh i'm not you know this is this is a tool that is there I, i'm going to bring up the nhl one just because uh hold on, just to move my window here um so um obviously lineup optimizers are a big thing um saber sims tool is just incredible and so mm -hmm. customizable if you're someone like me who is more interested in the single entries where you're just going brute force and you want to try to get maximum points, uh, theoretically maximum points based upon the amount of salary you have, and maybe you want to lock in or lock out a particular player, I've created lineup builders that will allow you to do that. And you can select, for instance, whether you're interested in the DraftKings or the FanDuel sheets that Sheets makes. So when you click load from Sheets, it's pulling that most recent data from the same spreadsheets that, that you guys see. Obviously on SaberSim, they're already sitting there, but here you can fill it in and you can actually edit them if you don't agree with the points. Mm -hmm. You can see that it, it populates with the names, the positions, et cetera, all everything you would expect. And yes, it doesn't have all of the granularity of, of Saber Sim, but that's not what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do is for someone like me who's looking for a single entry and wants to be able to build a theoretical best lineup, they can go ahead and, and do this, click on LFG, and it will compute for you in a few seconds uh, that that best lineup. And if you want the best 10 lineups or you want the best 50 lineups, it will do 150 lineups, whichever one you you are interested in. This is not going to allow you to look for the the um, the more sophisticated cause causation mm -hmm. you know, connection between players. This is not going to allow you to uh, link to players or build slates uh, amongst players. But it is going to allow you as a, as a, a beginning player such as myself, and, and maybe you're just not ready to, to plunk down the money for the Saber Sim, we get it. Yeah. But this is a start. And uh, I think it will enable you to, to put together some smart lineups and I went some money on this. I, I, I hit a, I hit a, a big one on a, on a single entry and, uh, 
and I, I'm not sure why it's taking so long on this lineup. I think because there's a lot of a lot of players, so it's it's crunching the numbers, but it sh it should be up here in a moment. And uh, and this is this is what being a member gives you access to, and you'll be able to export the results uh, right into um, whichever site, DraftKings or or FanDuel, just the same as you would if you downloaded it from Saberson. Yeah, and I think that even even if you're using SaberSim, and for someone like me, I I don't use the I don't use the optimizers usually to build my lineups. What I do is I run a bunch of different things, and I want to see what everybody else is getting put together, and it just helps my brain decide. Okay, well, I can steer directly a little bit away from this. I can get, when I'm seeing ownership projections in the 30s for some guys who are going to end up being 10 percent because I see what the projection systems are trying to do to them. You can you can still get value out of tools like this even if you don't end up using the actual lineup that it builds you. I think it's yeah. really interesting to take a look at. I think it was taking a little while because of the number of, uh, of players tonight, but let me, I know that for instance, the uh, NBA lineup. Yeah, it should be easier. It's a fly, fly quicker. Yeah. Um, okay, so again, we'll just let it go. And um, it will show you, it will show you the list of players and, uh, and uh, if you wanted to go, and here we go. So there, there you go. So you can just export the results. It will save a comma separated value file for you that is ready for upload right to DraftKings or FanDuel. It tells you the projected point total, salary, and percent ownership. You can also then go and say, I only want a max P own. So it does allow that customizability. It allows you to, especially if you were doing a multi entry you can either lock and exclude particular players, or you can define what you want the maximum ownership to be. So you have some tools there. It, mm -hmm. it is available to you as a subscriber, and it may, as it does for me, fit your needs. That's awesome, Evan. I mean, first of all, I really am impressed because you know these guys spent years and teams of people building their things, which obviously are more comprehensive, but I mean, they, it, that's a lot of stuff they put in. I'm really impressed by that you were able to build well, this. Well, Bobby, whenever you want to send me a lot of money and then I will get to work <laughs> on making it like theirs. But for now, you know, look, it's not the prettiest no. thing in the world. I'm not going to lie. No, but I'm very impressed that you were able it to work. It, it, will give you, uh, it will give you something so that you're not pulling your hair out trying to make what you think is the best slate and you can do multiple lineups you can as i said you can put up to 150 you could say i only i want three unique players for each lineup and i want a maximum ownership of 200 percent. and it will do it it will it will take care of that for you mm -hmm. and um and uh i hope uh people find it useful that's awesome evan i really I, I again i think it's very it's very very cool and i do want to also say that i you know going back to the uh the search tool again guys i would encourage you to try to use this and really tell us any other ways we can use this application because i think there's a way that we could that that it could really benefit you guys and all of us if we're utilizing it correctly and getting sort of a sense a pulse of the industry it's something that i would like to start you know maybe we should run it a little bit more often evan because i would like to start getting the early the early news, the early, the early thoughts from people. I guess there aren't as many for basketball. That's why Jaron Jackson didn't show up. But if you typed in Bryce Harper right now, or just just Harper, um, what are we going to see? Because because that would be a, a very popular name you're going to see today, obviously. And uh, let's see what we get. Um, yeah, so you get the early morning, and then you're ta you're talking about Harper, Hoskins, and everything like that. You and then you click on it, and you you get an idea of what Awesome and Run Pure, two other top sites, are talking about Bryce Harper tonight. Um, why to fade him, why to play him. And it'll be interesting to hear what your guys have to say. And these are all other people's free videos. So it's, 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 you're, you have the ability to, to, to watch our stuff and everything like that in general, but I do think it's always valuable to see what else is out there and see what else you're, you can do. So I, I really think this is a valuable tool that I, I would really encourage you guys to use. And there's ways we could potentially expand on it. If you give us some ideas of where you'd like that to go. So please, please, uh, think about that. Evan, yeah, I, you know, I was just going to say, you know, YouTube has all these algorithms that that keep track of what you like and the channels and so forth. And you subscribe this. This we're keeping it a little looser. We're trying we're we're providing you with with sites that we think are worthwhile, that definitely 
are providing a lot of information. And uh, I think this will help you digest it a little bit easier. Yep, yep, absolutely. Um, well, I, Evan, I appreciate the walkthrough, man. This is great. Uh, we just wanted to do a quick walkthrough. I'll be doing some more with Mark to talk about how to better utilize certain things on our site. Um, we wanna try and get everybody involved. We're gonna have Evan pop in every here and the, every now and then on the live shows and, and uh, or sorry, on the uh, shows where we talk about uh, the round table discussion, basically talking about lineup construction, lineup review, uh, sort of different strategies that we all use. And it'll be interesting to see because you're you're fairly new to DFS and we have some fairly experienced people and just sort of to see what, what works for each person and see what you guys can get out of it. So uh, Evan, thanks so much. And uh, is there anything else you want to touch on before we before we get out of here? No, I, I'm going to go check Tom Brady right now. And see <laughs> Sounds good, man. All right. Well, thanks again, Evan, for all the great work. Guys, uh, please do use these tools and let us know what you think. And good luck to everybody out there. We will uh, see you very soon. Good luck.